Hello, my little Luxes. This is another episode of Luxy Charms, and I am your host, cosplayer Charcy Lux. And with me today, technically a co-host, kind of. Yeah, at this point, point. co-host. We're just your <laughs> co-host for these ideas. It's my wonderful hubby, Arcanon. Do you remember the song yet? No, I've got to watch it. Arcanon. Arcanon. That's right. I, I was, it's not a song. It's a note. I just sang it. I forgot. It's, I just haven't it's watched it. It's your Arcanon note. Arcanon. There you go. See? So, and... Courage the colors. <laughs> so, today, we are doing a commentary reaction video to one of our favorite movies. Something I'm going to bet 70% of you have never heard of and or seen. And if you have, congratulations. You're one of the few. So, the movie that we are doing a commentary reaction on, which you would know what it is anyways due to the fact that obviously the description of the video or the fact that when I have my intro go by, it says, The Gamers, Darkness Rising. Now, technically this is a movie that is oh. a part of a series because there is an original The Gamers, which I think we've seen once. Once. Like once. Once. But this is the movie, and this oh, one. This movie's got some history. Lots of history. And the biggest history, obviously, for me is this is the film that actually got me interested in D and D. But at least watching the movie gave me an appreciation for it, and the whole idea of story trumps rules. Yes, and also um, for a little more circa time, it was. 3.5 or third it was third edition that we were playing yes way back when numbers and math and rules and little exponential things and but now with D D 5 and the advent of critical role and popularity and streamlining of the rules it makes it much more friendly for um new players to yeah. come in um you will also know that the majority of us just don't talk about fourth edition. That just it just didn't happen. It um, was unless you played the game, video games, Neverwinter and... Nights, never not yes. Neverwinter Nights. Sorry, that's the good old game, but Neverwinter the MMO was so good, so that fun. They based it off of fourth, and because I think you even said mm -hmm. when you were reading into it, you were like, "This would play perfect for a video game, but it doesn't work work as a TRPG, as a tabletop, yeah. and obvious reasons and." That's when Pathfinder was made. Was when four came yeah, out. Yeah, I was like, Path I gotta Pathfinder's look it up. like. I'll have to look it up, but I, I can't remember. Did you remember it, your phone this time? So uh, we can look actually, I do have my phone. <laughs> Although I didn't give you much to look up because this is very uh, obscure. Uh, like the room. If you know the room and you've watched the room, I'm sorry as in, in advance um, for that one. But this is also along the same lines. Most people, even D and D players that you might walk into a shop today, they won't know about this movie Which typically. Makes me sad because these. These I mean, they've great. developed and they've done several other movies. Journey Quest. And Journey Quest. Oh, Journey Quest. Love Journey Quest. Wish I'd continue. Yeah, right? But anyway, so we're going to get started and start watching this film since it's almost two hours long. I used to go to sleep to this movie. Yes. A lot. Not even joking. Like, the, the musical score can go through my head at any point mm -hmm. in time. We love this film. And it's so much fun. Oh, my God. <laughs> if we ever get the chance to meet... Hide behind the... <laughs> <laughs> to meet the cast and the crew of this film, uh, I would act like a little kid. I'd be like, yes. and they all seem like amazing people. Oh my god! But anyway, yeah, so to, we're gonna get off track. Get into this film, and we'll talk about it more instead of us rambling about how great this film is. So. Yeah. This is a quick spoiler alert. We are about to watch The Gamer's Darkness Rising. So if you have not seen this film, this is your forewarning. Spoiler alert. How long ago it was when we first saw this film was back probably the same year we got married or just before? Just before, same year. Eh, probably so about 2007. Seven. So. Yeah, 2007-ish. I can't remember when this came out altogether. <laughs> I think it was. Oh. Yeah, we're watching a DVD copy now because the Blu ray 
wouldn't work for us. Um, Screen recording problems. Yeah. That seems Let's to be the way. issue. Anything that's commentary related to I don't understand how people blocked. do it all the time. I yeah. would have to figure that out. Um, this world makes no sense. And we all know that. The amount that YouTube is censoring stuff is ridiculous. And obviously, we don't have to worry too much about it now, but when I'm finally to the point where I can monetize, I won't be able to swear, I won't be able to use certain words. You literally are censored. So I you gotta be I don't PC because all the kiddies can watch. Even if you're labeled like in my case where it's not for kids, it's I'm still censored. Two thousand eight so. film. Two thousand and eight. So, so shortly after we were married. Mm-hmm. And that would make sense then, because I won't say where we went to community college, but right. the person that Arcanon used to play uh, Dungeons and Dragons with was an instructor at the community college. And <laughs> how we ended up actually becoming friends with them was because we were all a part of the same group of friends and... <laughs> that we're part of a wedding that we always call the wedding from hell. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave that to be on that one. But that, uh, that could be a fun uh, future story to talk about because she's still the number one bridezilla. Like right. nobody can top this lady, and the fact I'm certain somebody can, but I'm sorry for whoever had to deal with that. Yeah. Oh. Um, so obviously, we were first introduced to this film in 2008. Yeah. Uh, Back when I was first starting to play, um, it was about that time, and, uh... <laughs> oh, the... That's how you lose dice. That's how you lose dice. Um, I still have one of my original dice, and most people do who continuously play. Um, Where they're so worn down. No. You can't it just keeps rolling and rolling. <laughs> But it usually lands on 20. <laughs> it's not a fake or a rigged dice at all. Just, you know. It likes 20. It does like that 20. Argue on. They were trying to fund Journey Quest fourth season through Kickstarter at one point. I haven't been able to keep up with it. But all of these individuals uh, are part of that entire series. Which is great. I think we need a little more pep. Yeah. Well, we were just uh. It doesn't help. Aggravated. That we get started and then get Stop. irritated. Stopped and then irritated it by <laughs> the technology. But we'll get there. We got there ish. It doesn't help that there always seems to be some kind of a hang up. And in this one's case, I'm really hoping that we're not gonna get a <laughs> stupid flag for. A copyright claim. copyright from a show that's all con it, you, by the way you can go to YouTube and, and watch, watch this, this entire, entire film. film just watch it it's fine it's not there's no buying it there's no nothing so if there's a copyright strike on this I'm gonna have real issues with YouTube because you can literally go to YouTube and watch this entire video for free movie video you don't have to buy or rent Gwen Pfeiffer which you said is, is the, a character is from the name the lore. of Drists. Everybody knows Drist. If you know anything about D and D, you hear about Drist, the dark elf. Ooh, the guy on the floor is actually the writer of this. Oh it's yeah, Matt, I forgot um, about that man. Vansel, something like that. You have the phone. Mine's being used to record. <laughs> um, I think it's Matt, Matt Vansel. Yep. Oh look at me! I you just use the back of this too. Yeah. <laughs> But, um... That's not as easy as IMDB. Dick. It gives me pictures. Dick. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I going to be censored? Censor me. <laughs> Censor me! <laughs> Cancel. <laughs> I don't even care at this point. I'm, I'm waiting for a competitor. It would be great if there would be some kind of competitor that could come in... Competitor? For YouTube. Oh, 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 An actual oh, oh. competitor for YouTube. Yeah. That where we're not censored and... Yeah. This copyright shit is ridiculous. It, If it's fair use, it's fair use. Well, I mean, most of D&D is open game license at this point, yeah. so it all works out. Where was I? We were talking about... 
I don't remember what the hell I was talking about. I'm, 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 from Gwyneth Fiber. Oh, Gwyneth Fiber. There we go. So back to that. So Drist. You're welcome. The the uh, <laughs> the uh, the dark elf that is most widely known. Um, Why a lot of people want to play just a good dark elf. good dark elf, which they you know typically don't exist. Uh, we won't get into that conversation, but uh, Gwyneth Fiber is the name of his panther he acquires in his uh, early parts of his journeys, and it's pretty much his one original true friend. He can summon it, unsummon it, um, so while he, dealing with his issues. Just recently started reading it within this past The audiobooks, year. yeah. The audio, wonderful, wonderful audiobooks on Spotify. Uh, R.L. Salvatore, I think, is the author, if I'm not. R.L. Salvatore. Salvatore. I am terrible with names, but it's the Drist series. It's out there. At least 40 or 50 different books. Mm-hmm. Not since the incident. The incident. We've all had those games. Even in video games. Yeah. We're having a good time and then everybody dies. Our buddy Dacular always oh, talks about the situation of where... <laughs> They had just finished the quest. They had gotten their equipment, the things they had found. Yeah. And one of the things that he had found was a wand of wonder. Rod of wonder. That's yes. that's what he it's found. Uh, and um, so they were at the local tavern, obviously celebrating their big win. And Dacular decided, I want to use this thing. And I don't think he had the full concept of exactly what well, it was. Well, as a player, he knew what it was. Uh, as a character, he did. Which player, character, knowledge, all that fun stuff that comes into play. And he rolled low. Well, it, it wasn't the point he rolled low. It was the point of kind of what this whole movie's kind of about is strump, you know, story trumping rules. His DM had a different table for it that he made up. So when uh, Daclear rolled, he ended up summoning something that's not typically able to be summoned by this uh, Which, because mean, it's not on the list of things to do. Rod of Wonder, you can roll yeah. anything anyways. And it could be anything at any point. They've even said before in games that it goes by the Dungeon Master <laughs> There's GM. a girl in the game shop. <laughs> it's way more common now, but back then, <laughs> back then, this is how it was. <laughs> because when I would walk into the shop with all my friends and obviously my husband it always was like there's a female in the shop that's how it was it really was like that. anyway <laughs> different times so i suck he used this rod of wonder and ended up pulling on the dm's role a black a green. dragon i think it was green it doesn't matter Ancient i thought it was green a green or black, black dragon, dragon and just Everybody died. And literally the last words he says was running into the tavern to look at his group Comrades. and say, I, I fucked up. up. No, guys, guys, I fucked, I fucked up. up. And then just <laughs> acid everywhere. <laughs> so it was just uh, one of those moments. And that could happen. It was a funny, memorable moment. Yeah, sure, the game might be over at that point, but... He always talks about it. It's one of those times where it's just, you know what, sometimes ending like that is just absolutely great. Because then you get to harass that person for the rest of your life about killing your entire party. Mm-hmm. Charisma? Whee! Sadly, I usually play the charisma characters Same pretty much here. since this watching. I was like, but charisma is so good. That looks like it chafes. <laughs> Fights with the broadsword? <laughs> get it? Broad, broadsword? I get it. <laughs> You have a first name? <laughs> you have a first name? Oh my god. Cass. I mean, he plays a good dick. Oh, he does. Like, he plays, like, so good. such a good asshole. He's actually we a all nice have, guy. Yeah, in real life, definitely. Well, what all heard. of them. Because, obviously, we've known people that have gone to conventions and have gotten the chance to meet these guys, so... <laughs> <laughs> and you're 
gonna hopefully get used to us to the point where it's like we're watching the movie but more talking amongst yeah. ourselves especially when it's something like this because we're not kidding when we say that we used to watch this because it's a comfort film mm-hmm. it's a hundred percent a comfort film we obviously had futurama that we used to always watch at night this was one of the other ones and i mean there's a few things that evolution evolution, evolution was another one dazed and confused obviously I just watched that last night mm-hmm. no and I, last night. Yeah, last night. I made the, the face joke. Face. He touched his face. Face. He touched oh, his face. Touch his face. Touch his face. Oh, wait. We're not doing it right now. Oh, God. Oh, no wonder. <laughs> God, his shirt just brings back memories because in the 90s, it's actually 2000s. I shouldn't say in the 90s. The 2000s is when you guys always wore those kind of shirts. And you probably still own one of his button-up shirts. Oh, button-ups. Okay. I was saying like the Munchkin shirt? Oh, no, the, the not the Munchkin. That's a weird feeling, though, too, because that's about the same time when Munchkin came out. No, that blue flame button-up. Yeah. You guys all, and you would find them at Polos Spencer's or, whatever, yeah. or Hot Topic. <sighs> Bards. Yeah, totally seduce him. I could seduce him. <laughs> You haven't yet. yet. (laughs) Phone you later. Be waiting. Mad meat. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I always forget if you read the board in the background. It always says something. It has something related to what's going on. Shut up, Cass. (laughs) (laughs) We all have that friend who has to push that argument. It's in the book. I'm going to do it. Go ahead. They're not my storyline. <laughs> I'm pretty f- sure for these roles that he really did shave his head for this role. For the monk. Oh, monk? Oh, absolutely. Because I, I don't think it was a bald cap. No. Or arg. <laughs> <laughs> Buffy, anyone? <laughs> that was only major right around this time. Mm-hmm. Buffy and Angel. Do you think can you can handle, handle that? that. <laughs> you was that. <laughs> oh, and it starts. And it makes you wonder, like, how much of this was ad libbed. Couldn't tell you. No, mind you, what's going on is that, obviously, while they're playing their D&D game, you are seeing them playing their characters. <laughs> now, the mage is obviously the one guy, but he's playing a female character. But what's fabulous is that in and out while they're playing, he forgets he's playing a female character. And you'll see what happens. And this is why all bards now have this... <laughs> This is what a bard is. Bards just seduce people. I mean, they're charisma based. We've all watched The Witcher. Although, well, we might not be watching The Witcher for too much longer because we'll once see. Henry. I don't even know if I have an interest in watching the third season because I feel like sticking it to the director and the writers of The Witcher just to show them, hey, maybe you should have listened to Henry Cavall and actually stuck to the storyline. Or at least have a more coherent situation rather than just making it your own? Because he flat out said he'd stay if they stuck to the lore. Mountain Dew. (laughs) Yeah, because obviously copyrights. Copyrights. We're all used to that shit. Uh, If they're not an actual paid sponsor, I guess you can't actually have them on there. Which I never understand that. If you're paying for it. Munchkin apparently was fine. It, of course they would be. <laughs> You're going to make a gaming... Sh- yeah, sure. Stick all the gaming people there. The only people who are going to watch this are gamers, so they'll just want to go, what's Munchkin? Oh, I'm pretty pizza sure boxes in the background. I'm pretty sure it said Dr. Leper instead of Dr. Pepper. <laughs> 
Now, obviously, she's doing the typical thing that anybody would be doing, and you're asking questions to figure out where you need to go, where rumors are, blah, blah, blah. The two in the background are the people who have been playing this campaign over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> so, the idea of player characters knowledge versus and player character knowledge, knowledge, yeah. Mm. Murder! That's called murder. I just wanted the story to get going. It gets better and oh. better, too. You are evil and a whore. You are evil and a whore. <laughs> None. <laughs> on your face. <laughs> oh, by the way, he's forgotten that he's playing a female character, so yeah, obviously he's kind he's of in the mage's outfit now. <laughs> what he said. Hail. Hey. So back in this edition of uh, the role-playing game, either D&D or uh, Pathfinder, the bard was the skill and the knowledge person. Uh, very good at being able to know things out of nowhere. Um, they so, can know history, lure. Hence why... Folklore. You know, the, the he was being told what to say because he probably made a check or had the background knowledge of the area to be able to like, oh, well, that's part of this part of the story. So now that it becomes uh, character knowledge or even player knowledge, the... Um, roles. The roles, roles that they come do. into. Roles come into play. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Go right ahead. Go right ahead. That's important. Uh, I seduce the priestess. <laughs> Who is not? not an elf? An elf. Once again, he was trying to argue with Kevin's character and, and play an elf when they weren't in the oh. module he was do. Well, he's creating, I should say. And since they could couldn't get another player, oh. Kevin's coming in as an NPC character yeah. NPC or you know yeah just another player another character to help the party out be a little more rounded and he's and coming he in as, as a paladin. paladin and paladins don't like any form of bad bad so in their especially case, in this edition yeah we should probably caveat that because in this edition of the game alignments meant a lot, a lot more, more than, than what, what they are fifth now. edition does um so, yeah, bringing a paladin into a group that's pretty much a bunch of murder hobos the, like, yeah, the makes it a little rough. Have sex with the locals, you know. Just, you know. Torture things. Torture. For information. Needless to say, this is a very good um, what are you doing? representation of how a typical... D and D game can go. It never goes the way that the dungeon master wants it to go. Well, especially since Kevin's character is trying to actually write this, and he's trying to sell this module, and he can't get it past the point where they keep dying. So, 
<laughs> I do love that she's not actually blowing on the horn. <laughs> it's like a few centimeters away yeah. from her mouth. Only farted on God. All right, so we can negotiate. <laughs> yeah, no. Remember, she made a charisma-based character that could talk her way out of fighting. It's a little past that point. He typically plays a fighter. He decided to play a bard. Yeah. Which is nowhere near what a fighter is like to play. But it's apparently very normal for him to be the first person to die. Uh, fighters tend to fall over a quickly. lot. Quickly. Barns fall over a lot, too. Who takes Who improved takes initiative? initiative? Thanks. About everybody yeah. that plays. I was going to say, thanks to this movie, like, everybody takes. The, with initiative. our group, it was, you found a way to put it into your build. Because it is good. It defeats the purpose, though, when everybody takes it. So. Yeah. Well, the monsters usually don't have it. I get another, another attack. attack. Now, we don't think that this is anything real. We read into it. It's really close. There's, I think, something one similar. thing was was in this game only. I think that's the only one I don't remember finding is the extra attack when you, she, when you crit. Yeah. Which, for her character, since she's got, like... High dex, high intelligence. Well, no life or anything. It's kind of important for her to be able to kill her opponents before they can touch her. Because if she gets hit, she's, like, down half her life. Yeah. Which is typically a wizard. What? Why? <laughs> The Staff of Resurrection. <clears throat> Cannon fodder. No, in the extras, she actually does do a cartwheel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Bard. Probably this just makes me want to play D&D. &D. Yeah. How much experience for the Bard? So, how much experience do I get for the Bard? <laughs> now, I forgot if we looked up where they had filmed some of this, if it was actually at a renaissance fair or something like that. Because, uh, I, I mean, obviously, this this looks like stuff that you would see at a renaissance fair. Because a lot of this stuff looks and resembles things that we see when we go to um, Bristol, Wisconsin, for their renaissance fair. Is the barmaid hot? <laughs> the barmaid hot. Must you? <laughs> <clears throat> Began filming in 2005 and was set for release in 2006. But it was finally released at Gen Con Indianapolis at Anthem Pictures August 14th, 2008. That's right, because a lot of the time they, they always, would play yeah. at Gen Con. Look! He remembers he's a lady in this. I mean, it's got a 7.3 on uh, IMDb. Which is very good. Probably the only ones that we'd be giving it a low rating would be people who people like are... going in trying to watch a movie made in Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> like the hell am I watching here? I mean, anybody who's like us loves and adores this. And you can tell it's not high budget in that. That's It's a group of college friends that got together and started making movies together. It's about the chemistry and the funniness of it all. The creativity that you see in it. 
Yes. Oh yeah, are you going to start seeing our uh, reference that we did in the past video where them, yeah. we talked about, are they Is ninjas? Just, are, are they, they zombies? zombies? I, don't I don't know. know. Right here. <laughs> he should have just stayed upstairs with the lady. Yeah, he's helping. He's giving everybody a pending the level plus two to everything they do. Mm -hmm. Maybe three. I am. Yeah, but doesn't he end up dead again? It's, you know, <laughs> incidental contact. <laughs> Good old studied strike. <laughs> Are they ninjas? Are they zombies? You said that wrong. I said that wrong. Are you said zinjas? that horribly wrong. Zinjas and Are zombies. they zinjas? Are they zombies? Because he controls zombie ninjas. That's what I'll do. I will play a monk that is like... Um, a Dampier monk and call myself Zinja. Zinja. Zinja, the Dampier monk. There you go. There it is. Oh, yes. Like what we were talking about before, because his character's playing a paladin, they can't torture this guy to get answers. So he rolled to distract him. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hi, Charisma. Get away mm -hmm. with it. <laughs> so, mm, gotta love all the references. <laughs> Keep distracting him. Why are you necromancing yourself? Oh! Obviously, they're not really getting any answers here. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out if he's self-destructed or what the hell happened. I assume they did too much damage to him and he just gone. <laughs> and since he might have been part demon or something, when, when a devil do you dies, it just kind of evaporates, goes back to its home plane. So, I mean, maybe that, I don't know. Plane traveled. Mm. My shame knows no bounds. My shame knows no bounds. bounds. I think I'm gonna do that work from now on. My shame knows, knows no, no bounds. bounds. As I slur my words. About Lord Kemnon, Kemnon dumbass. dumbass. <laughs> and of course his roles, he's able to find out this information. I, I think that's one of my favorite lines about Lord Kemnon, dumbass. I take that as a no. Good girl. <laughs> He doesn't play a bard. He doesn't know he can roll, roll. bardic knowledge or he has bardic knowledge or something like that. And of course, everybody keeps trying to help him. You'll hear dice. <laughs> Actually, so I, I do. do. <laughs> <laughs> Index card. Sucked. <laughs> Out. Out. <laughs> <laughs> oh.
ransomed him, him back, back to the merfolks. <laughs> Boron. Lose 50 experience. Not here. Oh, Not no. yet. Not yet. It's That's the right. next one. <laughs> As if killing the bard. <laughs> As if killing the bard impresses us. They're glasses that we got from Destin, Florida when we were on vacation back in October. Probably from one of the best restaurants we've been in oh in a my God. very long time. I miss that place so much. Good food, Great good people. service, dollars everywhere. Yeah. It looks like a shag carpet of money. Yeah. <laughs> very fun atmosphere though. They did good, so they get waffles. They did good. So they get waffles. <laughs> I love her questioning look, because she knows Kevin's going to answer her. It's like, the hell is she, what? What the fuck are they doing? What does sort of mean? I love that it's dubbed. Like, they're not actually mic'd up and talking right now. They dub back over it. Did they really? Did you learn that or something? You can just tell. Like, it's just slightly off. And the sound isn't right. I've never noticed that before. Yeah, this whole scene is 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 dubbed back over. Like they they had a camera, they shot the scene, but there was no sound, and they went back in and dubbed the sound. I'm, over I'm it. wondering if they didn't have a boom mic or, or what was going on that it just didn't sound right. Yeah. Paladin, policeman, whatever. <laughs> Babysitter. <laughs> Babysitter. That one I don't know if they redid or not. Yeah, this one, just I think it's the walking, when they're walking and talking. Here I think it's fine, but you can clearly tell there's a sound Difference, oddity. Sir. I've never noticed it like that before, but yeah, I guess it could be that way. But again, made by people just making a movie about what they love. One of the... <laughs> hey, Mark. We have a cat. We have a cat. <laughs> that roommate, you just love. Oh, God. We have one of those roommates. <laughs> She's practicing. She's just practicing for whatever reason. <laughs> and they're stage people. They get yeah. it. <laughs> Shirt. <laughs> Obviously, you should recognize the teacher. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> of course, he's paying attention. <laughs> Now you see the uh, inspiration. inspiration for his character. Oh, so funny reference with all of them. They're making several more bard characters for him since he keeps dying. I need me to deal with the DM like, can I just bring another character in? Because every time I'm resurrected, you technically lose a level. So he was becoming weaker and weaker. <laughs> oh god this is fantastic too oh gosh Arr. Arr. first time we ever watched this I'm like what's with the pirates and then it gets even more intense Yeah, 
first time watching this, I'm like, what the hell is going on? And I'm just sitting there laughing, going, don't worry about it. Enjoy the scene. Yeah, because you saw this before I did. Because you're like, you need to see this. Yeah. Fighting with the pizza cut. <laughs> Yar. Ninjas fight, go. Wait for it. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> okay, get that. Okay, get that. <laughs> Everything's better with pirates. <laughs> oh, he didn't make the deal oh, with the that's right. doctor. He got there, that's right. Welcome aboard. Ugh. Quite a fight. Hi, Mark. No, it's Mitch. Because his real name is Matt, so. Am I getting Mark because that silly show or movie, The, the, the room. room? Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> Kill your ass is dead. dead. Amazingly, he's cold. <laughs> oh, Lord. Sitting here watching this, I was like, just thinking of some of the shenanigans our and groups that have our done. Have come into, yeah. And it's just like, ugh, that would be so fun. I can't even think of anything in specific like a specific there's always so many i well, think it doesn't help when we're in the middle of watching something and seeing this yeah it's i'm not really focusing on our old games yeah but although the witch campaign had a lot of the witch campaign games. was great and then there was the uh, the first one that we played with daclear where my character became the figurehead of a ship because i turned to stone that was funny. <laughs> you got to see Medusa. And then yeah. that was it. That was it. I, I failed to save and... Uh, stone. I was stone. For a while. <laughs> she knows that face. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, mm. But the thing is... Her character wouldn't stand there and just let it happen. Right. I mean, it's not like this thing's filled with perfect movie making here. <laughs> oh, Her she was distracted back. too. She was distracted too. Now I get it. You just couldn't see her in that little moment. Yeah. <laughs> just continue move on. Along. We're just gonna move on. <laughs> Obviously, the bard is the character that dies all the time. It's the joke. It's Kenny all over again. Oh my god, you killed Kenny! You bastards! Mmm. Mmm, this argument. This is totally something that would happen in any of our campaigns Annie. with friends. I at least get to roll. Okay, yeah, go for it. You also have a 5% chance to roll what he rolls. <laughs> Bumble!
since we're <laughs> since playing we're by, the by the rules, I know you don't mind. Ah, uh, shut up, Lodge. <laughs> Shut up, Kevin. Oh, he actually, he actually uses Kevin. Kevin. And now you see that he's <laughs> Kevin's character because he's playing the character. So I do like those little things oh, that yeah. they throw in there. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, ew. ew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is Dr. Leper. <laughs> nice. Uh... <laughs> Kick to the balls. Was it a ball's eye? Uh. <laughs> yeah. He's pissed. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> what he does with it. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on at my table? <laughs> Don't distract me. <laughs> oh, the bard. You'll notice every time he comes in with a new bard character, he's got on slightly different alterations in his costume. Usually the cape is different. Usually. How many times he dies from a zombie? Uh, <laughs> how many of those have you got? Fifty. <laughs> 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 That's probably my favorite cape. <laughs> Thus, his workers making all the bard, bard characters, characters for him. <laughs> oh, Lord. So good. You can tell when he says this line, this guy, this kid is really laughing. <laughs> like, the kid is literally losing his shit laughing. dead birds. Oh, so good. Makes you wonder how many mannequins are in there? Just insane amounts. So great. I've got you covered. The babysitter is leaving. <laughs> now they can torture away. Where's your master? Oh, one more thing. Obviously she should have listened just a little bit longer. more. She's getting better at this though. I feel dirty. <laughs> Total, Total waffle, waffle for, for the, the paladin. paladin. I feel dirty. No, mind you, like we said, that when they do well in a game, they go and get waffles. When we got the Blu-ray rendition uh, of this, or is it rendition or is it addition? Eh, it's rendition. That it's... It's a waffle. It's a, it's a waffle. It's so great. Yeah. So yeah, if you want to see this. You, you won't be able to 
find this that I know of to I don't, buy. Well, I mean, maybe. someone might be selling on eBay or something like that, or uh, Amazon, maybe. I don't know if you're, you're, again, I think it's on YouTube in its entirety. Hear no evil, see no yeah, evil. Yeah, no. Stickers and shirts, but no. Get a hoodie off of Red Bottle. I think you can watch this. No, it's Journey Quest that was up on Amazon Journey Prime Quest was that up, we yeah. can watch. I don't know if it's still there, though. But and yeah. Journey Quest is just as excellent as this show is. Oh, yeah. Journey Quest is great. Now we're back to the beginning. That you saw before. That you saw before, but just with different characters this time. Oh, yeah. In the trap that he just took off, doesn't it say um, Long Gary Gygax? Long Gygax or something? Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's a, obviously not Long Gary Gygax. 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 Who created Dungeons & Dragons. Which we actually don't live too far from where he originally lived. No, not far at all. And that's why it was really funny when we went to the con. Con! I can't speak, apparently. Uh, to the con. Which one? When the one where of... Matt Mercer uh, oh, and, and all of that. Milwaukee. Milwaukee. When it was when they were coming and it were just becoming very popular. They were just becoming known Critical, for Critical Role, Role. Um, and all of the splendor that is was just starting to pop off. And they invited them all to be there. Unfortunately, um, Travis and Laura couldn't make it. But Mercer was there with... Uh, Your speech today. Marisha, right? His girlfriend. Marisha? Yeah. Yeah. Terrible with names. Well, the weather, because it was the they, winter time, it was in February, so the planes actually couldn't go to Milwaukee, so we didn't get the chance to meet Laura Bailey and her husband, Travis. Um, Travis. Travis. We didn't get and, to meet them, unfortunately. Which would have been amazing. We barely got to meet Mercer anyway, because well, we their made lives the choice were and decision because, crazy. Yeah, you weren't supposed to be waiting in line till like half an hour before, but people would show up like three this hours ahead of time. Con also was like your atypical con, and we had like five thousand people at most. Yeah, and then they invited these guys, and they had twelve thousand people, and they All had no sudden. clue what to do with it. And uh, I was unfortunate to where I didn't get to meet Mercer in a situation where it was meant to meet him. Mm -hmm. I got to meet him. We got to meet him because we were sitting outside the door waiting for another, another guest panel. panel. And he'd come out to say sorry to the people who couldn't make it in. And he ended up talking to me for a little bit because he thought I was going to see him. And I was like, oh, I'd love to, but these lines are crazy, bud. Like, so, <laughs> a real cool guy. Real, real upstanding guy. Like, well, even you got to shake his shake hand his and hand everything and, just and, sit and there said hi. So you technically probably got to do a little bit more than what some of those other people got to yeah, do. Yeah, I mean... You looked it was before right COVID, at him. so yeah, you looked right at him. And you're like, "Well, I know who you are, Matt Mercer," and you're like, "Cause he didn't see us because we were actually behind the door since we were he waiting in line door. for the next Weird. panel." And then all of a sudden, he noticed us, and he's like, "Oh, I'm so sorry," because he was addressing all the other people, and that's when yeah he shook your hand and everything. Yeah, because I was like, "I'd love to meet you, but uh, your lines are crazy, bud, and I got a lot of like to do around here." And talk for a good minute yeah just chatting like i said you technically got a lot more than what other people were gonna get yeah stand-up guy and he was real nice guy these are mostly references to equipment munchkin. that's in munchkin <laughs> like Lie. Gonna hide that, that would be copyright infringement I see a psionic spirit blade. Now, technically, we weren't... I don't know how we ended up in the uh, critical role with Milwaukee when I was talking about Gygax and the... Because we were there, and we were less than 30 minutes away from where it was started. Like, But how did that... Because it was busy in Milwaukee because most people know of D&D &D up there. So, you know, like, Critical Role was just starting. They weren't that big yet. That's true. So, all of a sudden, you're coming and doing a show about, with all these big D&D &D D &D people and knew, and they came, and they yeah. didn't expect it. Now I got you. I'm yeah. like, where, where is the tie for this? Because what I was trying yeah. to tell for the story is that we actually travel through, because it's, um, uh, Genosha? 
No, that's not Lake right. Geneva. Lake Geneva. Lake Geneva. That we travel through there when we go to the Bristol Renaissance Fair in Wisconsin. I almost said Milwaukee. Cause that's <laughs> right there. But since we go to the Bristol Renaissance Fair in Wisconsin, we go right through there. <laughs> that would be a copyright, copyright infringement. I see. <laughs> Their original characters as that they just yeah, Nobbies? Zinjas? yeah zinjas, I don't nobbies. know. Which obviously, since they're going to be doing double roles here pretty soon, that's why they put the masks on their face. <laughs> it's easier to have a stunt double. Like I said, she can't get hit. She does not have enough health No, points. as a fighter. <laughs> Quite a fighter. My mini. Of course it's the bard. <laughs> oh, it's oh. so good. That dragon skull is amazing. Oh, though. yeah. I know at the end credits, like, they give credit to whoever lent them the dragon head to yeah, use. Yeah, but it's so good. Things that he pulled out of that trunk gets oh, golden. Oh, it's so good. Coming up. <laughs> it's from the trunk. <laughs> Princess Bride reference. <laughs> As you wish. It's in the trunk. See, it was in the trunk. <laughs> oh god and if you haven't caught on by now the bard is very unlucky you can't backstab an object got a spine doesn't it Like we said, the things he pulls out of the chest is golden. Oh. Uh, Necromancer go boom. Necromancer go boom. Twice, actually. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to do it. Mm. I'm going to play a caster and I'm going to do it. Blarg. Blarg. Obviously. Maybe he's not the greater servant. Very 
I remember correctly, he is officially on his last hit bard. Point. Yeah. Well, he's on his last hit point. Last hit point and his last bard. Beaten this challenge? Ah, <laughs> oh, and then the scene. Buckfutter. <laughs> uh. Now this just makes me think of things killing. That's where he came from. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Lose fifty experience. <laughs> <laughs> now it's the line. What are you throwing? My phone. I had on my lap. Yours is. On your lap. Was that my Oh the DVD. I'm like, but your phone's already in your lap. <gasps> the turkey. Yeah, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Death by turkey. <laughs> See? Thanks also, killing. Yeah, thanks killing. Right there. There's the literal reason that thanks killing exists. Still forgetting that he's playing a girl. <laughs> That's why I kill so many NPCs. You never know. Well, we played with people who said no loose ends. Yeah, and they yeah. would. They'd kill like anybody they encountered. But that was wrong. Technically a bad guy. Hmm? Now, mind you, since this was the last bard and he died, <clears throat> they need to, and I don't think there's any more charges on the resurrection stake. Right. That they have to carry his dead body until they can resurrect him elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's the smirk that we all know. Yeah, that, I've got a plan. I've got a really bad idea. <laughs> Stop forgetting. <laughs> it's the girl. I love this. <laughs> and remember. Not even if I make a donation to the church. You gotta watch what she does. One that he seduced the last. He's got to look at the next one. He's got to seduce the next girl. Or if he does it right, both of them. Ah oh, no! A cult would never ever make the decision to use fear to get people to follow what they want to do. No. No. That never happens. Nah, man, it is perfectly fine. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong here. Man, 
I'm gonna die. <laughs> As the bard is remembering a hymn to Theron. Mm. Remember the foreshadowing when a certain someone wanted to steal the staff earlier? Which would have ended, ended the campaign, the campaign very right quickly. there. <laughs> oh, the uh, bloopers. Mm -hmm. You're picturing the bloopers. Yeah. Because Theron was trapped in an element of her own element, which was light. The Staff of Light. Poor Sir Osric. Oh, Sir Osric. But a fun, like, with the end of campaigns, you right, have you... the end the story arc. <laughs> no, 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 no. Then you have the, uh... Experienced players trying to live their wants, and then somebody who's actually here for the story doing their wants. And of course, then you have nerd rage. Lots of nerd rage. We never experienced that. No. <laughs> Only one who's mad. That's the reason why they're not together anymore. <laughs> and Kevin's like, uh. We all have that friend that freaks the fuck out. Yeah. When all you want to do is, it's just a game, just a dude. Game, bro. When Kevin wants to punch him. Story cramps rules. Story's always better. Mm hmm But they're showcasing how people are. Are. There are people like this. That if they don't get their way, throw a little hissy fit. Yeah, it, it's, it's insane. And it's like, even if she wished for something, if she, let's say, wished for an ultimate level or gear, yeah. they don't get anything. It would be her getting it. Yeah. So why is he freaking out over something that he's not benefiting from anyway? Right. I do appreciate what Cass does. That like he Cass. goes... Oh, Cass was Cass the one Cass is the one that left. Like, uh... Oh my god, I can't think of his name now. But anyway, yeah. I appreciate what he does when he crawls under the table so like... to sit next to her. What's going on next? He's... One, comforting her, and two, he's on her side. And basically showing that I'm standing with you. I agree with your decision. Which, I mean, she still gives really cool stuff to all yeah. of them. But he left too soon. Yeah. Maybe give him a shield? A hamster bubble? <laughs> <laughs> That's the line. You are evil, evil and a and whore. whore. So I have to be good. Thanks. Gary, you can't remember any of your spells. What did you do to me? So I have to be good. Yes. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> It'd just be fun to do something like this with the costuming oh, and the sets. Yeah. It's just renaissance. Much. Just go there. I had to film a movie in the off season. See, they all liked it. Yeah, it's the point of telling the story at the end of the day. Not the body count you get, not the whatever else items or whatever. Mm -hmm. Which, let's think about this. How many times have people even said that they've written novels that were based off of old games that they used to play? That they... Yeah, and, absolutely. Or I've heard of TV shows. I've heard of movies that were based off of Dungeons & Dragons games. 
Well, the last witch hunter? Yeah. Vin Diesel? That mm -hmm. was literally his character? Mm-hmm. And look, he can write his module yeah, now. Yeah, right? He's no longer writing dick on there. And you'll see his module on the shelf. <laughs> Which, isn't that a real thing you can it play now? It is a, well, I think it was before they just based it off of how, like, I don't think it was made because of this. It was made before this and they made the movie around it. Around it, it. okay. <laughs> and somebody finally gets to take out Cass. <laughs> He's like a cat. Gets up. Nothing happened. What? I meant for that to happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yes, it was something they made because of the movie. See, that's what I was thinking. They did make it. You can go buy it and run it. It's a promotional module that coincided with the movie. The module appearing in the movie is a... I mean, talk about good marketing. Yeah. Well, I mean, they released the movie yet. Gen Con. So. Which, I mean, if any of you know what Gen Con is, it's a convention that's in Indiana, which I love to do that one someday, but that one is huge, oh and it's God. like a four-day so con. Fun. Yeah, Because normally so conventions are Friday through Sunday, and that one's Thursday through yeah. Sunday. Yeah, it's usually pretty big. Why did you join us, Cass? <laughs> I screwed up. I'm sorry. He, it's not very good at apologizing, though. He really yeah. doesn't apologize. He kind of brushes around it. Yeah. Especially to his ex-girlfriend. <laughs> I suck. Mm -mm. I'm a dick. I'm a dick. Yes. <laughs> well, those old magic cards would be worth a lot behind them. Right? God, that gaming shop is exactly what gaming shops look like. They don't have not changed. They have not changed in all this time. Which is fine. Perfectly fine. Or have, or have you. you? Yeah, I, I would love to know where they filmed this. Nope, there they are. See, like I said, he's got to have his threesome. <laughs> Damn part. We want to thank you for joining us here yes. on another Luxie Charms and watching the Gamers Darkness Rise. Wow, I can't speak. The Gamers, the Gamers Darkness, Darkness Rising. I don't talk. We all know this. <laughs> this is the ongoing joke here. But more to come, non. More to come, non. Now, mind you, obviously, last month was the end of Luxmas for December. I still really haven't come up with a theme for this one, but this one, I think, just gamers. Just gamers, just kind of us in general. Or like a D&D &D type of theme idea. Yeah. Uh, fantasy. Would be a fantasy. Fantasy would work. Mm -hmm. 
So, I mean, I'll hopefully come up with it in time for when I post this. So hopefully it's in the description somewhere saying what my theme is and yada, yada, yada. And we'll see if I get a copyright claim on this one too. Right, like, yeah, this one, you can go to YouTube, the same thing we're posting this on, and watch the entire movie. For free. So I'm probably fine thinking that there won't be a problem. And at the end of the day, it's publicity to them. Yeah. Which they probably barely which, get. As we always say, that you should be supporting these guys. If you love tabletop games, if you love Dungeons and Dragons, I highly recommend getting this. And it's great. Hoping, and same with well, Journey Quest. Getting it's kind of hard to do. Like I said, I just looked it, it yeah, up. Yeah, it's, it's very, very difficult. It's just so, like trying to go buy Dogma. Good luck. If you can help support them in any way, that if they are doing kickstarts for Journey Quest yeah. and that, definitely uh, help. Uh, Dead Gentlemen Dead Productions. Dead Gentlemen Productions. Yes. But obviously, as we always love to say here, thank you for joining us. We appreciate you. And thank you for giving us a wonderful year for yeah. 2022. It's been a fun and, time. Yeah. And happy new year to 2023, because by the time this is posted, okay. this will be the new year. Yeah, you're right. I mean, obviously, we're recording this on the 26th. The 26th, yeah. <laughs> but it is officially the new year, so happy new year. And Happy new year. Ha <laughs> so unenthusiastic. Happy new year. There we go. That's more like. Uh, I'm, I'm fine. I've got my own. No, the, oh, that's what you want. I got, <laughs> it. So I got my own. He's not reading my mind anymore. We were never ones to finish each other's sentences. We could think about what the other one. We was. said a lot. We say a lot of things. We usually our quips can sometimes be literally the same thing. Mm -hmm. But anyway. So, Happy New Year, and if you're interested in following us on our other social medias, you can follow me on my Twitter for Charcy Lux with three X's, or on my Instagram for Charcy87, and if you would like to follow Arcanon, you can also follow him on his Arcanon Volroon. Yep. So, link it in the description down below. Down here. Down here somewhere. Somewhere in this area. Down, 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 down. <laughs> like, are you flicking people off? <laughs> I could be, but you'll no, never know. No, those are your pointers. <laughs> <Eddie>. <laughs> but no matter what time of the day it is, we hope you have a Luxie Charms kind of day. Bye! Bye. That's what editing's for. Uh, so that it will work perfect for bloopers. Yay! <laughs> Again. It has happened again. Goodbye. All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Jesus, the bloopers are going to be in this. <sighs> Should I look at you first and say, are we ready, princess? Oh, I so am. <laughs>